Welcome to another video guys. I have another little live trade recap thing for you guys here. So to save a lot of like talking and nagging and all that nonsense, if you're wondering why I'm doing like a, a voiceover on it instead of just doing like, you know, letting it play how it is, go watch the video that I posted yesterday about how I made $600 in six minutes. Go watch that. It'll explain it all. But today we're here trading Apple and we made $400 in four minutes. I don't know what the deal is with me. I seem to like have some type of ratio here with like, you know, every minute makes a hundred or something. I don't know what the deal is going on here. But anyways, so let me see what I'm doing here. Okay, so first off, the initial idea that I'm looking for is I'm looking for Apple. You can see we're trading Apple up here in the top left. Is I want it to give us some kind of a pop to the 170.50. 170 75 area I want it to pop up there and I basically think it's gonna go back down so we're gonna get some put options keep in mind instead of buying shares and selling shares we buy options and sell options so as you guys see here I'm clicking on this 170 put over here on the right just bringing the order form up what I want to do in this video is show you guys how I'm that you can basically place the orders on the platform as well and so you guys can see the inconvenience of just bouncing back and forth so you can also understand why I usually like to tr place the orders on my phone so I was also looking at this Amazon guy here I was basically saying that I could see him pulling back down to the 1176 1175 area um, you're gonna notice that this morning I had a little bit of like ADHD I was looking at Amazon, Nvidia, and Apple, and I couldn't quite make up my mind on what I was doing. Of course, I you know knew that for sure I was going with Apple. And as you guys see here, I'm going and putting the order in now. This is you guys can actually see now what I mean when I'm always saying, "Oh, I'm like moving my orders around" or things like that. If you watch my other videos, so as you guys can see, as we're getting the pop up to the 170.50, that's where I'm waiting to get my entry here, and that's where I send it in my first entry here as we hit the 170.50. You can see I got filled right there. It got filled at 89 each, and I got 10 of them, so that's $890 that it cost to place this trade. Now, when I say it cost me $800 to place this trade, it doesn't mean I'm risking $800. It doesn't mean that if I'm wrong, I lose $800. It just cost me that much to make it. You get what I'm saying? So, real briefly, looking at this apple here in the top left, like I said, you guys can see my little ADHD over here looking at NVIDIA and Amazon and all that stuff. But the main center of attention should be on this Apple. I'm looking for it to give us like another pop up closer to the, basically closer to 171, 171, 170, 75 area. That's basically the idea that I'm looking for here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to double up at that spot, the next pop that we get, which is basically coming right here. I'm going and just preparing the order to buy more. And as it's popping up here, I'm going to place my order. So it's currently at 170.70. This is where I go in and put my order in. There you go. You can see buy 10 more at that limit price. Basically, it needs to pop up a little higher. And there we go. It got filled right there at 0.84. So I put in another $840 here. So the first one was 890, this one was 840. I'm up to 20 contracts here. That's my full size position now. If it goes above 171, I'll get out and take the small loss. Otherwise, my profit target is 170 basically around that to just drop below 170.25, reach the 170 area, and that's basically it. And then here I am again, I'm obviously looking at that Amazon. Don't really worry about this stuff. Sometimes as a trader, you need to tell yourself and fight your own like urge to get into other trades at least for me, because it'll be too hard for me to keep track of that Apple trade if I end up getting into this Amazon right now. So I'm just sitting there talking to myself saying, all right, don't do it. You're already in one. Leave it alone. And then I go off and start looking at NVIDIA, and I got to tell myself again, all right, just leave it alone. We'll just focus on Apple, take your profit on that, and go on with your day. So as you guys can see here, so far we have a little $200 profit here. You can see it at the bottom right there. Basically, as the stock price comes down and lower from 170.75 down closer to 170, the value of our put goes up. And again, 
it didn't even cost us $2,000 to place this trade. And when I say that, it doesn't mean I'm risking $2,000, guys. If you buy a truck or a car for $10,000 in hopes of selling it for $12,000, you use $10,000 to make $2,000. You didn't risk $10,000. It's not like that truck, if you were wrong and couldn't sell it for $12,000, that it was going to randomly combust. You can always take a small loss, sell it for 9 things like that. That's the idea here. So basically, Apple is coming down to that 170.25 area. So that's where I'm going to go in and I'm going to take half of my profit off. I had 20 contracts, so I'm going to sell 10 of them here. There we go. I filled 10 of them right there at 102 each. Remember, we got in at 0.84 and 0.89. Now we sold half at 102. There I go again with Amazon. I'm just checking the prices and whatnot at this point. See, my idea was for Amazon to come down there and then bounce. But anyways, back to this Apple guy. As you can see, we're at 170.12. So this is basically where I'm like, all right, let me close out the trade. We're pretty much to where I wanted it to be. Now I get a little out of hand because I'm like, all right, we're at 170.05. But let me sell half of them. I'm going to sell five of the 10 that I have left. So there you go. You can see that I sold the rest of them there. Well, not the rest of them. Five of them there for 1.12 now. And my idea is sometimes I decide that, all right, you know what? I'm going to hold like 25% of my position, five contracts, just for like an extra hour or throughout the day. And I'll check back in on it later and see if I made a little extra more money. But obviously here I decided, you know what? Let me just close it out and be done with it and go on with my day. It's a short week this week. I don't want to deal with any um, like extra time decay or things like that. But that was basically it, guys. So quick $400 profit in what, like four minutes here, as you guys saw. Now, just for the sake of it, I'm going to draw a little smiley face just because I'm weird like that. But if you guys could hit a little thumbs up on this video and subscribe, I would greatly appreciate it. Visit the website, bijontrades.com if you want to learn this stuff. And yeah, just have a great day, guys.